listened to one or any of the episodes. Me and Tom have known each other quite a bit of time, and we've done quite a bit of things together. And one of the first things that we really came together with and really loved together was the 1971 Willy Wonka movie. I mean, Tom, uh, I, I don't think you disagree. Oh, no. There was a lot of nights spent watching that movie, and I think we watched it pretty much a hundred times. <laughs> At Maybe. least. At least. That might be an, under, that might be an underestimation. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, we okay. made remixes. We made tributes to Gene Wilder. We were just like, yo, we were so in awe of that movie. And then you're like, 1971, bro. Like, you're just like, holy shit. They didn't even, they were nine years away from the 80s. They were yeah. just starting the 70s. And they made this movie that's just like, it stood the test of time, even to this day. And nothing ever comes close. I mean, a lot thanks to the late Gene Wilder. But that yeah, was, he, uh, I think yeah, he had he, a lot we, to do with it, bro. So much to do. <laughs> he <laughs> was I mean. Willy Wonka. He really was. In my eyes, at least, he is Willy Wonka and will always be. I don't know. Always, That's me. forever. And everybody, is, again, you know, you have your favorite. I'm not telling you you should think he's the best, but in my opinion, you know, he he brought something to the character. And, and again, maybe it wasn't so much what uh, Dahl wanted, you know. I know he wasn't really thrilled with the 71 movie. Which I find but, crazy. <laughs> right. But I mean, I, I mean, he must have had another vision. I mean, it wasn't exactly like the book. But yeah. what is? What movie now do they keep honorable to the books exactly? Please. Never. Nothing. Never. They never do. No. There was just some magic you know about it. The funny it, thing it, is, though. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I don't want to mean to interrupt, but like, it, you're saying that Dahl didn't like it. Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl. How do you even say his fucking first name? Roald. Roald. Roald, Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl. That's whatever. how I say it. Yeah, yeah, so he didn't like the movie, but Stephen King didn't like The Shining. Right. And he remade it. He actually made them fucking he remade it. Like, what was it? Uh, somewhere in the 2000s, he redid it. Early like, 2000s. How the fuck do you not like The Shining? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's like, how do you not like the fucking Shining, bro? Jack? Right. Is Kubrick making, make, directing Jack? Like, how the fuck you don't like that fucking movie? That movie was the creepiest fucking movie ever. It was one of the creepiest <laughs> movies of all time. Right. It's still to this day one of the creepiest movies of all time. And you're like, so you're just like, you're like, man, I, I guess you really just have a vision in your head when you write a book. And you're just like, I want it to look like this. But it's like, how did you look at fucking Gene Wilder and say anything about that was not? Phenomenal, transcendent, legendary, trailblazing. I mean, you name it. He was absolute freaking. He was a total crackhead in the movie. Gene right. Wilder. He was just. I agree. He was hilarious. He was a character. He was charming. He was everything. Well, you know what? Let's go over the movie crazy. a little bit. Let's go over the seventy-one movie a little bit. We'll we'll, we'll try our it. best to hold to a little bit. But again, yeah, yeah, it's going to be tough. All right, so again, we're not going to tell you the whole synopsis of the movie, but it kind of starts with our friend here, Charlie Bucket, going to see this guy, who I always thought was kind of a, a you know a, a jerk, <laughs> a little bit, the candy yeah. man. I didn't like him. Even but remember, he was worried about he was worried about GI issues. He's like, you'll get a stomach ache if you eat right. it like that. But then he had no problem. So he wasn't that much of a dick. But then he opened up that thing and knocked the girl's jaw. <laughs> so you take a photo. Oh, yeah, that's the best. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he's like, best. watch your stomach. Boom. <laughs> Get out of my way, bitch. I'm getting a scrum little amp. I'm trying to make money, bitch. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. I don't know. I just, and even later on when he comes back after he gets. Um, not after. Well, no. When he comes back, just now. When he comes back, because here's he looks through the window originally, and then this is after he gets the quarter in the grate. That's what this picture's. From. Yeah. So. Yeah. And he's looking at him like, "Why is your like? Why is your poor ass in here?" He's like, not even looking at him nicely. Yeah. 
Now He's like, like, you're never in here, you broke motherfucker. I mean, think about it. The other kids were in there. They've got songs and dances and free candy. He walks in. He's like, what the fuck? Here. <laughs> Who, oh, the, the, the kid with the black hair? The kid with the black hair and the yellow shirt that's like in every scene because he was like son of the director? Right. Right. Exactly. He's like, a scum, a scum, dimly umptious bar. What's that? <laughs> Exactly. He basically, dude. he murdered. He, he murdered the name of the candy bar, like like Guts would fucking murder <laughs> somebody's name. Yeah, exactly. More on that later. What's your name, man? Mark uh, Raska Martinez. <laughs> exactly. yeah, so I found out that that I found out that little motherfucker with the yellow sweater was actually, I think, son of the director. That's why he was also like when when you know the the. What is it? The freaking teacher stops the class, remember? Yeah, he's the one that says like, it, yes. He's the one that tells everybody that there's tickets, and guess what? You can win all this shit. And, uh, yeah, so that, that's why you he got, got all those parts. That was motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class three dismissed. <laughs> all right, all right, here. So he buys his little chocolate, and he goes around the corner like a psycho and opens it around the corner, right? And what happens? Boom. He gets the golden ticket. So then... He looks like a crackhead he, in an alley. Yeah, he looks like he just... Or like, you just gave him a $5. He's going to go buy a thing. Yeah, he's about... <laughs> yeah, he's like, I got to find my spoon and, and a tourniquet. <sighs> but, I mean, fast forward, he goes back and tells, you know, that he's got the golden ticket, blah, blah, blah. And the kids get there and stuff. Now... I like, and again, please give your opinion, how they set up, how they show each kid and a little bit about him. You know, I like how oh, they yeah. do that. And it really they made develop, me not yeah, like yeah. him. Like, even as a kid, I didn't like the kids. Yeah, they all sucked. Right. But then you heard Cheer Up Charlie and you like, you start crying. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, dude, were you the little fat boy? Right, exactly. I was the little fat boy crying with Charlie. Oh, he was a little fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Akak, Ak, were you the little fat boy? Ak, Ak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, man, that's that's the thing. Cheer that Charlie was the downtrodden, broke ass motherfucker. Yeah. Couldn't rub two pennies together, but he but, had love, and, that and was he had heart. Time. And he was a good guy. And that's what matters. It's not money, man. Win one for the zipper. <laughs> like right, he was so, the, yeah, the underdog, the ultimate underdog. Yeah, exactly. So that, uh, you know, long story short, they meet this guy. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Now, just look at the facial expression here. Like, this is what I mean. He he was almost scary. He kind of was like a mass murderer. He did act. Oh like yeah, that. he totally messed with your head. Absolutely. Absolute then, ball buster. Fuck with your head. Totally. And then here comes a scene from Costco when somebody's given free stuff at the end of one of the aisles. This happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I they always thought that was rushed. stupid. I, I, it's like you already have a million people here. How could you make it run smoother? Oh, I got an idea. Put free food at the end of the aisle. Great. That'll yeah, make everything exactly. move smooth. Well, so, this was before Black Friday, so nobody knew about that shit. Right, exactly. So there was uh, no tramplings. <laughs> no, no, not then. All right, so right. then they get loose on everything and they start going nuts, eating all the candy, you know, because it's free, blah, blah, blah. Um, there you got Sam Beauregard over there. Looks like he's trying to crack open a giant jawbreaker. Oh, dude, you know what? I got to put this up for a second. This is classic right here. This happens before they there go. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, that's when he does the somersault. He, 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 the, the first scene that you have this motherfucker in it, he's already fucking with your head pretending he's crippled. And yep. then he makes his stick stick in the ground right. like he's going to fall. And then he does a fight. He's like, exactly. I got you, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. He's already like, got you, bitches. It's <laughs> like, 
Hey, how do you make a first impression really good? Boom. It's a little kid. That's why we loved him so much. That's why we loved him so much. He was a ball busting asshole like us. Exactly. But deep down inside, he's a good dude. Right. Right. When push comes to shove, (laughs) he was a good dude. That's all that mattered, dude. He was. You know, he was a good dude until he had to blow uh, the whistle. (laughs) Then Then bad things would happen. Or bad things just happened, I should say. Yeah, that means, yeah, that's that's the fire alarm. At, uh, that's the at death job. rattle. <laughs> that's the death yeah. rattle of the kid, whoever it was. That's usually a code red in the hospital. It's like, yo, someone's dying, motherfucker. Right. That's when it's time to say your goodbyes. Get the crash cart. <laughs> oh. But I think one of the most, the, the scene that like freaked me out as a kid that was like weird was the when they went on the boat. The best, the best, most terrifying scene of all time. Yep. Dude, they literally it was a snuff the film. It was a snuff chicken. film. Yeah. It was like a, it was a snuff film for chickens. <laughs> right. <laughs> and eyeballs. Oh yeah, and and millipedes <laughs> and fucking creepy crawly shit. Yep. Yeah. And what you see is <sighs> walking with your head, bro. Oh, now I am gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's right. Stop the boat. All right. That's right. Uh, you knew you were in trouble if the whistle sounded, and you knew you were in trouble if you saw these dudes. That was oh, yeah. before the death rattle. When you saw them pop in, you knew some kid was going out. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, that motherfucker gone. Dead Absolutely. man walking. You basically, you're yep. a dead man walking. And then, Facts, you know, you, you you see each of the kids with, you know, gluttony and and all like this deadly sins almost. It was. Yeah, you know, like you're, you're waiting for Morgan Freeman to show up. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I. um, But here's what you don't think is going to happen. You don't think that Charlie <laughs> Bucket and Grandpa are going to be dicks. But then this happens. <laughs> <laughs> They fucking stole a couple beers that made them fly. I do it exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> you think, nah, man, all the bad people, they're doing it and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you should have got an idea, too, that maybe something was off with Grandpa and Charlie when everybody's being sick I think and scared Gram- on the boat. I think, Gramps, I think Gramps was an alky. That's what I think. Oh, 100%. That's why he never got out of bed, but he was perfectly fine to walk. The motherfucker was hung over for like 20 years. You know what? I don't be honest with you. He reminded me of what my Uncle Mike would have been like at his age. Oh, fucking amen, bro. Absolutely. Amen. R.I.P. Uncle Mike. Yep. Yep. Uncle fuck it. This here's to you, Uncle Mike. Cheers, motherfucker. Right here here to Uncle Mike. Right there. Asalud. Hey, asalud. Here's to you, Mike. You'll fucking bury him. You fuck an animal. But again, everybody's scared and sick on the boat, but they're smiling, having a great time. You should have known something was up. You should have known. Absolutely. Um, and then, you know, it winds up, you know how it ends. He gets the chocolate factory, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So that, um, that was 71. Now, what did you think the first time you saw the trailer for the Depp version, which is the next version? What did I think? Yeah, what did you think of it? Yes. I didn't know what to expect, but the thing is, like, the problem is with Tim Burton movies, or they're very, uh, you know, there's certain kind of genre or whatever, and, uh, you know, they, they always have Danny Elfman music. You know, it's always like, bum, 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 bum. You know, it's like... <laughs> It's always the same. Unfortunately, I love Danny Elfman. No, don't get me wrong, but they always have the same kind of feel. And like, I was like, uh, I hope he doesn't fuck it up. But Johnny Depp's the bull- he's the man. So, you know, it's just like I don't think he'll fuck it up. But you know, I'll take a new spin on it. Why not? You know, and right. it was kind of different. But from the trailer itself, from from what I remember, the trailer was just like we were so excited. Remember you, me, 
good. So we were all excited to go see it. We were like, oh, my God. I had a lot great. of high hopes for that. Very high. Lots of high hopes. And, again, I don't think it was bad. I just – but according to what they said, it was more – it was closer to the books. Again, I didn't read the books, so I don't know. And I really should have, but I never read the books. And, um, yeah, but they said yeah, the either. depth version doll. I think he was still alive. I think. Was he? Yeah. I don't know if he was or not. I can't remember. I can't remember. I remember the Alamo. I remember. <laughs> <Yeah! Yeah! laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Speaking of Tim Burton speaking of Tim Burton. Speaking of Tim Burton, man. I don't even know if people realize that was him. That was his no, first. Man. Oh yeah. Was that before Batman, wasn't it? I believe so. Before the Michael Keaton Batman, probably. I believe so. No, yeah, no, dude. Pee Wee was his first movie, dude. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it had to be. I was in, I was in fucking grade school. It was, dude. I saw Pee Wee. I was in grade school. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Yep. All right, so Johnny Depp version. So this is how it starts. So this is Willy Wonka's factory. So, you know, it's you can tell it's Burton right away just by looking at that. You can oh, tell. yeah, yeah. He's known for that. Absolutely. What did you think of Charlie Bucket, the casting, this kid, who is now a doctor in that show, The Good Doctor? He plays like an old Yeah, I know. He still, has yeah. The same, he still has the same face, too. He looks the same. Exactly the same. That's so funny. Exactly the same. Yeah. Um, no, I liked him. I thought he was good. I mean, but then again, everyone sounds cooler with a you know British accent. We're like. You know, uh, or, or I'm sure we could. You know, we could use the money. We could sell. We could sell it ticket. We could use the exactly. money a lot more. And he's like, right. he's like a real humble dude. Still broke as fuck, Charlie. Right. That yeah, definitely. Straight out of I, low cash. Yeah. A little motherfucker named Charlie. That's right. Uh, and Steve then you know buckets. The <laughs> <laughs> buckets uh, of shit. I hope all you people can follow because we we be throwing stuff like crazy. I don't know if half of you are going to pick up on even a quarter of it, but I hope you do. Um, so you know, as you can see, it's very Burton esque everything for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Which is always cool. I mean, I have no problem with that shit. Right. I like no. That. No, definitely not. You know, the golden ticket. You know, everything is definitely. Now, what do you think about Grandpa? Uh, I mean, Grandpa, he looked he looked in a lot worse shape than uh, the original. Yeah. He, he looked like he did. was really, de he looked pretty decrepit. <laughs> I didn't hate him as much. I didn't really, I'm like, man, Grandpa's a jerk in the other one. He was more likable in this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, Grandpa Joe, though, in the, in the first, in the 71 one was like, you know, he was a lot more. He was a lot more uh, fiery, I would say. You know, he was a lot more of a character, whereas this one was a lot more just like he was a real – he looked like a great Grandpa Joe, not Grandpa Joe. He right. just looks so old. And this guy doesn't look like an alcoholic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was, uh, he was cool, though. I liked him, though. You know, he yeah, was, yeah. They, they went into him working for Wonka and shit. Like, he worked yeah. in his store. And I, that was pretty cool. Like the, you know, I watched, like I told you, I watched it with my daughter after you and me, we had all gone to see it in the theater. Yeah. And, and I remember walking away being like a little let down, but watching it, you know, a couple of times, Harper loved it. We were watching it like crazy. And I remember just being like, oh my God, like, this is awesome. Like, this is, this is actually a lot better than I remembered it. And you it know really what? grows on you. I think they're gonna do a throwback to the depth version. By because you see that he's gonna, but we'll get into it. But he opens up his store in the new Wonka one. Imagine yeah. they have Grandpa Joe work there as a younger guy, like a throwback to yeah, the, I'd be dope. this one. Yeah, 
yeah, I think yeah. they will. I think they'll give shout outs to both movies. I really do. Um Will he will he be opening up a shop next to Fickle Gruber and <laughs> Slugworth? Well, there's no Slugworth, but wasn't Fickle Gruber one of the I don't know, we'll watch it. I well, we're gonna he get was another that. one. He yeah. was another one. Yeah. So I think he was he's in the trailer of the new one, I think. So, you know, there they go, blah blah blah. Some of the things still holds true. They're still all terrible, terrible kids. I mean, you got my TV, which I didn't like this my TV, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't like him. Yeah, he, he, he was, was annoying. Douchebag. Yeah, I, I I didn't like him. And and yeah, I'll tell he wasn't you, Augustus as cool as the one was weird looking. The original, yeah. Oh, totally. Augustus looked like he should have been in Wonderland with his fucking twin. <laughs> <laughs> Tweedledee or Tweedledum. I think Burton forgot what movie he was on for a minute. Yeah. He looked like Tweedledumber. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Some of them were like, and then, um, again, let, let's talk about Depp. Depp was okay. He definitely yeah, fit he was the very Burton version, you know? Yeah, he was he was very weird. Like his voice was weird, but he, you know, he, I guess he had to make it his own, you know, which is which is all right, you know. Yeah. But it was kind of funny, like when he would have his like crazy, like uh, what his, his his flashbacks to his dad, and like that was cool. The dad, what was that? It got Christopher a little Lee, deeper right? into that. Yeah, Christopher Lee. It got a yeah, little deeper really into, into that. the psychology and like yes. it was like it was like being on Sigmund Freud's couch, dude. And yeah, like, bro. Getting like, like getting deep into like, you know, his deep seated fears of rejection from his father. Like, you dude, know, just like dude. it got real deep into that. <laughs> yeah, the fruit dude. Like, it was like real, like psychological. This movie, it got more into Charlie's backstory, more into his backstory with his dad, right. and that that was that was the parts I liked about it a lot. That, yes, that, I agree. But what I didn't it was like a different spin was the CGI of the. Of the chocolate factory. That looks like crap to me. Yeah, it com that looks like dog shit. I did not like it whatsoever, dude. And then comes in the second thing I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like it. Nothing against the actor at all. Nothing against him as an actor. At all. I just did not like this spin on, on Oompa Loompas. They Again, took the Oompa Loompa and fucked it up. Right. Again, you can never these days put in the movie what the book says. You'd never be able to do that. So no. it's always good. But I, I then, what do you think feels more kid like? Rob Roy or whatever his name is <laughs> running around like a thousand <laughs> versions of him, like um, like the clone troopers or little orange guys with green hair. Yeah, why would you take away the orange and green? Like that was like, I don't know. Or at least I, you could have taken you could have taken him and put orange paint on him and dyed his hair, put a green wig on him. Like, I didn't get that. Like that was the no. Like, look, give look. him white eyebrows. He's got to have white look. eyebrows, bro. Look at little three little Buzz Light years. It's terrible. Yeah, who was this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, you look at you look at the. Beyond. Like when you saw the Oompa Loompas, I was so psyched. I remember. I think we were all psyched to see the Oompa Loompas, what they were gonna do, yeah. Because like with CGI and all this, and then they do just a million of the same dude, and you're like, you feel like Pesci in that fucking meme. We're like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? <laughs> exactly. I like, agree. That's what we felt like. Like I got yeah. shit, bro. Like we wanted fucking Oompa Loompas, and you give us the same right. dude, and you just copied him a hundred fucking times, like. Come on, bro. Do better, man. Tim Burton, do better, dude. You had one job. Dude. Fuck out of here. One job. But then at Get least the they also... Get the fuck out of here. Look out for the horn swoggle. <laughs> um, you know, they put him in the jungle where he found them and all that. And, like, look at this. Look how I, yeah. I don't like this either. Look at this. Look at this. What is that this? Oompa Loompa 300? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, dude. Yeah. Even this, I don't like this CGI, dude, at all. 
And, and, and the fact... Yeah, CGI takes away the real feel of a movie. Right. And, and the fact that, if you remember, I don't know if you can see it here. Oops. Um, give me one second, guys. I, uh, I true it. <laughs> I true it. All right. Um, here. Um, it's not... It wasn't geese. It was squirrels. In the in yeah, the depth version. I, I, yeah, it's a squirrel trying to get a nut. Right. <laughs> Basically. What the fuck? And even the My TV part, I didn't really like. No. Yeah, a, lo I mean, a lot of that stuff was, was definitely... A, they put a different spin on things and some shit just sucked. Like, where you're just like, eh, this is not... It's no. too departed from the original. Um, it doesn't pay homage to the original enough. And, you know, it's kind of like disrespectful in a way, in some ways. I agree. But I guess they want but that's the thing. They, they're trying so hard. They were trying so hard to make their own movie and distance themselves because they just knew, like, dude, you can't fuck with the gene. Right. <laughs> you can't fuck with the gene, bro. You, you can do work it, out so. all you want, but you'll never outwork. The jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Um, but what I did like also with the new one was the fact that he actually goes and meets the family. They show him Willy Wonka meeting his Charlie Bucket's family and actually bringing them to the yeah. factory and stuff. Uh, but I and also the one th I, I didn't like the gla the, the uh, Wonka Vader. It's just it didn't look cool. Yeah, the Wonk the Wonka Vader was weird, but. I don't know, but so like was it. so was the beginning. So was the beginning part because remember they go to the freaking hospital. He has a hospital made for those those freaking uh, puppets that freaking started melting. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like this is the burn hospital for the little guys. Uh, for the, yeah, and I like yeah. uh, let you in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, just forget you saw that. There's like. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's like it was like flying all over the place, but it was so CGI too that you were just like, yeah, it just the fuck is going on. And they were shaving pink sheep. Remember what is like? Yes, like it's like was it cotton candy? What the fuck was that? Like, you know, like what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Wonka Vader kind of sucked. It, like, yeah, it wasn't it as cool as the original. Me. It didn't work for me. Yeah. All right, so now Tom just saw the full trailer. Before we jumped on, Tom, I'd like first impressions. <laughs> there we go. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, this is like, uh, yeah, the classic Homer Simpson moment where you're just like, you fuck the pooch again, bro. <laughs> It just now, looks I, like I don't know. My my first impressions are it looks like a fucking musical, and it doesn't look like all that good. The guy is not he's not quirky at all. Which is at least you could give Depp and Wilder the um the 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 commonality of saying that they were quirky because Wonka's got to be real quirky and like but like a cool quirky like like super yes. clever super witty and this guy just looks like he's just like came out of harry potter here's the thing you're just like Bro. the original wonka gene wilder where did he come from gene wilder came from see no evil he came from stir crazy he came from blazing saddles he brought that yeah okay absolutely where did this guy come we got, total cut up we got moadib wonka yeah, you know what I mean? No good, man. Yeah, he's coming from, you know, he plays, a, you know, that was a serious role, very serious. And now yeah. he's trying to be, like, whimsical and everything, and it just, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Yeah, my first impressions are it doesn't look that great. Um, well, here he is. The Oompa Loompa, at least, they got, at least they got the Oompa Loompa right in this time. Right, which we'll get into, not, which we'll get into. Yeah, my first impression was not good. So basically, it starts off the trailer with them, um, with him, you know, trying to break in to becoming a chocolatier, and uh, nobody giving him a break. It's that, it's that same Hollywood story, you know. I mean, it's basically Rocky yeah. with candy. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> it's rock. It's rock candy. It's rock candy. Yo, where they get a load of me? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he um, he starts off that way. So then, I I'll give him this. Con, um, wardrobe wise, he looks good. Yeah, the wardrobe. I mean, that's not that's not that hard. I mean, you got to be blind to fuck that up. Well, yeah, in costume design. But that we see, he has a little box of you know, just like Wonka did. He's got a little box of uh, ingredients that he makes all his stuff with. Thought yeah. that was okay. Yeah, now, but you know, it, that reminds you like that reminds me of like uh, like he's kind of like going back to. His roots kind of like the second movie did, but not quite. Like, kind of like, you know, they're making him like more doing all this chemistry and shit. Right, right. So then they basically tell him, look, you got to open up a shop to um, um, even have a chance to be anything with the other chocolatiers, which as he's trying to do his thing, of course, you know, he just gets dirty looks from all the chocolatiers. Yeah. Who's that? Fickle Gruber! Fickle Gruber. Then, you know, of course... You know, Go ahead, real quick. They never mentioned Fickle Gruber in the 71 movie, though. They, no, only in the it's Johnny just Depp. Slugworth. Only Slug, Slugworth was in the original. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And then you um, find out that that wasn't even Slugworth. He works for me. Right. That wasn't even the real one. One day I want to see the real one. So now we get to, you know, he's got to have his Charlie Bucket, of course. He's got to have his sidekick. So, you know, here's where he comes up with the idea, and they're going to work together, of course, to get his store open. So then we get the precursor to the fizzy lifting drink. He had the chocolatiers <laughs> eat this candy, so he would fly. And, of course, as soon as everybody saw that, boom. Yo, can I get some? Right away. <laughs> then we oh get to the God. disgusting river. <laughs> so there's this chocolate river. You know, I, I, they give um, little nods to the old one. I mean, I didn't need a nod to up, but whatever. And then... Yeah, that's uh, the first thing I thought. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, but I think it's kind of cool where you really he really gets into his mom. That's a different angle because you don't really hear about his parents at all in the in the seventy one. The depth one you hear about his yeah. dad. This one they're doing the yeah. mom, and I don't even know which one's in the book, but that's the route they're going. Yeah. And then here's they start to open the original store that he opened, and then we get introduced to Oompa Loompa Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna dig it. I'm gonna see. Here's what I don't. Are they mind. gonna? Are they gonna have the oompa? Are they gonna have him picking up a hooker? And maybe it could happen. A little hooker oompa loompa. Didn't he maybe. cheat? Didn't he cheat on Elizabeth Hurley with a hooker? Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. And he got a mugshot with him. Yes, he I'll, got in trouble. I'll tell you, looks. That just that's the classic case of looks ain't enough. <laughs> ain't everything. No, no, it is not. No, it is not. So, uh, and then they give a nod back to the death rattle whistle, which I thought was cool again. Yeah. And what I thought was funny, and I will leave it at this, is once he hears the whistle, Oompa Loompas have to dance. They can't stop. I thought that that's, a, that's a spin that we, yeah, see, that's a spin that we never really put together from the original or even the second one the depth one because you're like you're right once they start they, they don't stop until the number's over right exactly so although i gotta say the one thing i thought was pretty funny in part two or not part two johnny depp's one the burton johnny depp one was when they say uh they're like i don't know that seemed a bit rehearsed <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, kind yeah, of funny yeah. where they were just yeah. like yeah there's no way they did that without rehearsing <laughs> right exactly it was kind of fun exactly i like that part but but listen, once it comes out, it's a ways off. It's like Christmas. Once we see it, we'll definitely throw in our final thoughts on the new Willy yeah. Wonka. 
but it's going to have, in my eyes at least, it's got a lot of work ahead of it if it's even got a chance of beating 71. Nothing's touching 71 ever. Nothing's better than say Monday one. So, all right. So let us know, guys, if you'd like us to do like more movie stuff or whatever our opinions. I mean, we'll probably do it whether you like it or not. But right. So, we're going to talk about One Crazy Summer. And I and, and, and Tom, classic. I mean, a classic, absolute classic. I think we should just start right off with the scene that I mean that started it all. No. Yeah, why not? I want to know this, who was the little fat. Boy. <laughs> who's that? That's what I, I think know. everyone wants to know who's the little fat. Boy. And and I mean, if you guys look at the pictures that you know, Mike got uh of us hanging out back in the day that was while i was married and miserable and i was the little fat boy for a while <laughs> that picture <laughs> yeah. of me dressed up as a red devil i was pushing 260 there um when tori was born uh you know what? my Matter first fact, child that was 2006 in post in, the, in that in that new jersey in that new jersey nets jersey i was pretty heavy then too so i was the little fat boy we all were the little fat boy at some point yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put but them the movie, up above us. Yeah. So everybody yeah, will be able the, to see it because it's pretty. This is crazy. where it all starts from. Yeah, but this is where the little fat boy came from from this movie. If you don't know about it, you need to know. Yeah, it's a do. classic. Put John Cusack on the map, and Demi Moore. Am I right? No. Was Demi Moore in anything before this? I don't think so. Hmm. That's a good question, man. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure. I don't want to make an answer I don't, on that. I'm not bro, sure. she was young as hell. She oh, yeah, was she was. so young. I mean, don't look back, bro. <laughs> don't look fat. <laughs> now, here's the... Uh, <laughs> speaking of that, um, here's about... Here's the scene. So, <laughs> this, this guy on the left is Egg. Okay? And... <laughs> yep. He's actually talking about himself. He's talking about a little fat. I mean, Tom, do you want to give us a little? Take it, Tom. Oh, yeah, because it. Well, his buddy over there is really down in the dumps. Uh, he's not good enough for his dad. Ak -ak. Egg is basically. Yeah, Akak -ak is not not measuring up to his dad's desires uh, of him as a kid. And, and Egg's just trying to level with him. Be like, man, I, I've been there. Like, you know, it's a, it's a, Bobcat Galway used to, that was his gig. Like when he was in police Academy or this movie, that's how he talked. He was Zed or he was uh, egg in this movie, Zed in police Academy in this movie he's egg. And he's just like, I'm going to tell you a story about a little fat boy. And like his brother, like they made fun of his brother and that's his brother. His brother talked funny and stuff. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, like, yeah. I remember. He's like, yeah. Yeah, because remember, remember, he's all he's all like Xanax. He's all Xanax. That yeah. Like, Hi, hoops. Hi, well, they were like, Hi, they were twins, hoops. and they were like opposite ends of the spectrum. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? The Bobcat was There's all. There's no way they look like twins. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They didn't act. Hey, but what about Slow Paul Rodriguez and Speedy Gonzalez? They were related, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I he mean, was slow as shit, and. He was like, Senor, he was the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> fucking Speedy was Speedy was like, uh, you know, cocaine or meth and freaking, uh, you know, uh, Slowpoke was uh, a roofie. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> or he was a K-hole. <laughs> right, well, either way, whatever, whatever your reference is. And then here comes Akak, -Ak, like, listen, were you the little fat boy? <laughs> well, well it's not, not really. Oh, I, I just don't, like, make fun of him. Why are you so fat? Why are you so fat? Why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic scene. The oh, my God. It's the cute and fuzzy, and fuzzy bunnies. <laughs> now, this is the actual intro right here. Yeah. 
I forgot dude. the intro with the fuzzy bunnies. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They intro with the fuzzy bunnies, man. They they don't come in with real actors. And it's it's John Cusack those, narrating. Those cute little bastards. They were such scumbags. They look yeah. they were the opposite of cute and fuzzy. They were fucking they were pink and you know, fuckhead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're all jerk offs. They're they all made fun of this guy was the little fat boy too. But his loafers on this. Rhino. Oh, is he a hippo or a rhino? He's a rhino. He's a rhino. Yep. Which is messed up because he's got a horn on his nose. He could impale all those stupid fucking bunnies anytime he wants. And meanwhile, he's like this low down in the dumps, dude. Yeah, exactly. We've all been there. <laughs> he's, he's basically Hoops. <laughs> he's Hoops' face, alter ego. He's John Cusack's alter ego. Well, of course. Of course. He has, That's all, what he he has did. all this potential and no one gives a fuck. And that was his therapy as well, in a way. Was drawing yeah, his problems out. out. Yeah. Yeah, he was a I badass mean, artist. The artwork was pretty fucking badass, I gotta say. Yeah. Cupid is blind. Was. Yeah, tell me about it. Cupid's blind. What a shocker. <laughs> Nobody's ever experienced that before, right? And then had to go <laughs> home by themselves and have a beer. Nobody ever, right? Wait, he's tr- his beer is called Dud? <laughs> Dud. <laughs> It's a fucking dud. Hey, I'm just gonna go it's home almost like, and throw back some duds. <laughs> yeah, it's like, almost like Duff for Homer. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I, I, I just want a Duff beer. <laughs> I'm happy. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker, on your neighbor's door. Fuck you. Of You're course. never going to find love. There's me. I'm the leaving vulture. to go to the desert. <laughs> Notice the vulture looking at him like I. The vulture's like, I can't wait till you die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, hi. The hi, nice people. <laughs> Will you help me? The vulture's me? skinny as fuck. He's like, oh, please die. You got a lot of fat. It's going to taste so good. Hitting the hooch and then beating the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and he's just pulling out his ears. And... Uh, this poor bass is getting the shit kicked out of him by bunnies. Like it's like it makes no sense. You just stop those is, motherfuckers, and then they just laugh at him. Dude. So then you want to do? Here this we go. One. You'd love to do Your this. This is mine. He rambles ah! the fuck out of him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> But then, you know, he doesn't want to, uh, that's not, he doesn't actually want to kill anybody because John Cusack is actually not a bad guy whatsoever in, in the movie at all. Yeah. At all. He couldn't be a nicer, a nicer guy. That's what's terrible about it. It is. He's just, the shit, it was the shit all, under the stick is his whole life. Right. Right. None of us could attest to that. Right. <laughs> a lot of people out there could relate to that, man. And then there's our little buddy that's here. Why we, that's why we beach. remember it. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Our little buddy looking for shells for his dad. Just trying to get that acceptance from dad. Again, <laughs> I don't know anybody who would actually ever feel that way. Dude, it's so funny, too. Yo, John Cusack had the best scream, too. Remember? They're, like, running for their yeah. life. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was fucking awesome, though, dude. <laughs> he was so good. And he could actually pull off, like, a male belly shirt like he had on. You know? Yeah. Which was yeah, a thing back the then. I know it's hard to believe anybody out there, if you're listening, that's under 30. Like, belly shirts were a thing that guys wore. Like, you know. To actually show off their bellies. <laughs> I might have had one when I was, but that was when I was like in football and shit. Yeah, I, I, I did it. I was the little Some, fat summer boy, workout so I did it. <laughs> well, I was a lineman because I was a little fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, That's like, what they you, do you, with the bigger guy. They put, they put you on the line. <laughs> you did body image jujitsu, dude. You took that shit and rolled with it and went with it, dude. <laughs> 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 roll, motherfucker. Look, and roll, let's roll with it, baby. Speaking of that, let's roll with it. 
So he's actually collecting these for paperweights for his dad because he runs an army and navy shop. <laughs> and this oh, is the yeah. first time that they're actually meeting as well. Yeah, it's a hell of a time to meet somebody. <laughs> I think about it too, how ridiculous this is. Live rounds going off, and it may, they make it look like it's down the street from where everything else yeah. is. <laughs> it's like over here somewhere like is like the, the beach the where everybody's walk. hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> the boardwalk ended like 500 feet away, and they're testing missiles over here. You guys testing missiles over here or what? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just trying to collect those for his dad. His, his, his dad yeah. doesn't accept them, so he'll basically do anything he can to to gain that acceptance. From and that's that. that's the that's the that's the scene, bro, that I always remember when he goes by the water after picking up. She's like, and he picks up a dead doll in the freaking water. It's like missing an arm, and like he's like, "Did you know for every mangled little doll that somewhere there's a little girl with a broken heart?" And they're like. <laughs> Are you sure this is the line of work you really want to go into, Wack? <laughs> yep. You know, George is like, you sure this is really what you want to do? <laughs> War ain't for you, bro. <laughs> He's a sensitive dude. Oh. All right. Let's go He's with a, this next scene. He's a scene. lover, not a fighter. Do you know what this scene we're about to go into is? Let's see how good you are. It's a major scene oh, that yeah. we're, it's about to go into. Well, this is it isn't the mummy scene, is it? No, no. Save him! <laughs> Save <on>. her! <laughs> Come on, hoops! What is Come it? Come on, hoops! Hey, hoops! I'm about to teach you a very valuable lesson. All right, here we go. Listen, here we go. Here we go. You'll know right away what it is in a second. Oh, it, it is. is the mummy scene. It's the oh, yeah, you were right. You My bad, dude. I forgot. Lied I to forgot, me, you forgot he bitch. jumped on. I forgot Save he jumped him. on. Save <laughs> him. Yep, you're right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> this scene. Oh, right? here it is. The Jeremy Pivens, Jeremy Pivens over there being an asshole. Jer Jeremy Slimmons. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta tell Hoops, man. <laughs> Teddy's coming. <laughs> yeah, Too late, happened. motherfucker. <laughs> As well, the head He's already here in his Ferrari. <laughs> And it's like, how does he not hear them? Like five cars, like sports cars pulled up. And a I Ferrari think... Testarossa, not, not, you know, mind you, bro. Like that shit is a distinct sound. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm going to beat the shit out of this guy. After there, I beat dude. the shit. Yeah, dude, there's no, I don't think to me was in any. What else was she in? Was she in St. Almost Fire? One of them fucking. I think that no, was, was she in that? I don't even know. Was that before 86? No, nah, maybe she remember. wasn't even in there. I don't know. I would have to look that up. This, is, this sure. is definitely one of her first movies. I never saw her before this movie. I don't think anybody... That doesn't mean she didn't pop up in things. This is the first thing that like we yeah, most yeah. people recognize her this from. A, this was pretty big, though, dude. Back in the day, HBO was playing this shit on the regular. Yeah, time. they were. So, basically, he was going to beat him up. In this scene, yeah. and she stepped in and said, "Hey, no, play my basketball," which we all know he's horrible he, at. Because his name's Hoops, and he he kind of bullshit. I guess he didn't he, he kind of bullshit her that he was good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did. bullshit her because she's cute. Absolutely, that's what we all do. We bullshit you broad so okay. we can get you in. That's the never sack. happened either. That never happened either, right? A guy has never bullshit. Yeah. Or hey, a girl never bullshitted either. There's a lot of bullshit yeah. going on when people meet. Absolutely, initially. Because again, yeah, it's called snap. It's it's called filters, photo yeah. filters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so basically, hashtag gonna play no filter, bitch. And there it is. There he is, poor Akak again. He's dope. 
<laughs> Hack Axe the Hoop. Poor guy gets the, the nicest guy in the whole freaking uh, movie. And he, he gets littlest respect until the very end. Then he gets yep. the one thing that he craved more than anything. The acceptance of his father. <laughs> How beautiful that is. At least they that's get it. That's why, we like, that's why we watch these movies. Because it was like, man, this is only going to happen in the movies. That I got to watch it here. <laughs> yeah. Well, to remember, his dad wanted to kick his ass out. His dad wanted him to leave. Yeah, because no, he didn't want to go in the military. He's like, my house is not a house for cowards, Akak. I expect you out by 0800 hours on Saturday or something. And you're like, the fuck? What a dick. Yeah, I don't know anything that would have happened like that to anyone either. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kick you out for not going to the military? Not the military. Just replace the military with anything else. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Well, you know he's going to make shots. No matter why. Of course, is. Teddy's like. There he is. Yeah, but this is the thing, dude. Teddy's a martial artist and he's a fucking swimmer. But why is he all of a sudden he's better than fuck at free throws than Shaq O'Neal? Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, why, he, why is he good at freaking free throws of all things? Right. Exactly. How, then you got how this is he guy. good at free throws? You know what? I feel. It's like Grant. It's like Greg like, Luganis or fucking uh, Michael Phelps going up to the foul line. You're like, I'm putting all my money. This guy's going to make all of his free throws. He ain't going to fucking make no free throws. a fucking swimmer. No, exactly. That's what he does. All I'm doing my laps. Dad, I'm doing my laps. Watch this. I don't think this is one of those things where I think he did this and they kept it in. Like it wasn't planned. Him hitting him in the back of the head. Because it almost looks like he's oh, not yeah. ready for it at all. You see that? Like, look at his face, dude. That that wasn't in the script. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't go over that. Where'd that come from? That wasn't in the script. Oh, he he thinks like somebody threw something at him. Like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, that ain't joking. And look at their faces in the back, dude. They're looking like, I don't remember that being in the script. Yeah, dude. Look at what's her face. Look at Cookie. Yeah. Cookie's like, oh, my God. I forgot that I'm showing all my tits right now for a second. <laughs> Where? Look at my cleavage, everybody. Oh, wait. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? Oh, shit. Back to my cleavage. Eyes down there, motherfucker. I'm selling tits here. He, he stayed in character, though. I'll give him that. And then you got I know I know Dow. <laughs> Basically that plays. And they're all Wait, is that um that's a uh, wait, that's uh what's it called? Um Steppenwolf? What? Right? Born to be wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so he's sir. a martial artist. I he, he does martial arts, doesn't he too, Teddy? So he's like, he's like, I know Dow. He's like, he's like, what is Dow? <laughs> Dude, Teddy does everything. Don't you know this? He's like, Teddy is teach me Dow, teach me Dow, Pai Mei. <laughs> and she's like, it's a company that makes mace, asshole. All right, dude. Okay. I think we got to hit an iconic scene. I got to throw one in right now. We got it. Um, and I think I'm going to go with this one first because the other one's a little bit more significant. I think. We're going to meet Uncle Frank. We all got that uncle. I, dude, I never realized there's a bottle of pills like just laying there. <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't remember? You didn't notice that ever? Oh, dude, all I remember with Uncle Frank was cigarettes and the radio and the phone. <laughs> and good air quality. <laughs> and, and, the, and, the, and the rocket launcher, of course, that he of hit course. under the table. All right, here Uncle we go. Uncle Frank wasn't to be fucked with. No, he wasn't. If he and even now, the 500th caller <laughs> for the <laughs> summer sweepstakes. <laughs> will be a millionaire. 
It could be right now. And we're going to, it could be right now, but it's not. <laughs> like he's always dick teasing him. The freaking the radio announcers always dick teasing him. Like, cause he's like, he's about to go on the phone. He's like, Son of a bitch, he fucking fooled me again. <laughs> like, <laughs> he just wants to pick up the phone and call in. It's like, it's could be now, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. An, an absolute he was a tortured buster, soul. Dude. An absolute ball Tortured buster. soul, yeah. Poor bastard. So, yeah, look at him. He's then, fucking losing his mind. Yeah, and imagine just having those two things in there, and that's it. Just the, the table and the chair, and then the stuff on the table, and that's it. That's all you got. And all they did was come in and say oh, hi. Yeah. And he's like, I'm just trying to live my life. <laughs> God, God damn it, could you life? get out of here, George? <laughs> Can't you see George, I'm trying to live George, my dream? George, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> get out of here. Close the door. Damn it, George. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, and and then what happens here, this basically... From here, they, they were talking about doing something, and then he's like, um, no, actually, it wasn't this scene. He was talking to somebody else in this other scene. I'm going to actually bring that one up next, where they go to have dinner with the grandma, and she charges him. Like, yeah, she's, yeah, they get a bill. <laughs> all of a sudden, it turned to grandma's diner. It, it, yeah. And they all, start, they all start looking at the stars. Dude, remember they all start looking at the fucking oh, ceiling? Like, Dude, you never heard that joke? Why is it every time oh, I go yeah, after you and my friends, my friends become astronomers? Yep, yep, that's right. <laughs> John Panette, John Panette used to say that. Yes, yes, I John dude. Panette said that. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Rest in peace, John Panette, bro. R. John R. Panette P. was yeah. amazing. You don't know about him, but yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, it's like they all turn into astronomers. They all start looking up the ceiling, and Hoops that's is right. like, "Okay, I got. Okay, don't worry, I got it." And they're all like, "Oh." Oh, thank God he's going to pay grandma. <laughs> so, at, but first day, he thinks that, like, oh, I got to go because it's a special grandma thing. So he's like, yeah. 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 Oh, because he's talking to Demi Moore. That's right. He's talking to Demi Moore. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's cute, man. Grandma wants us at the house. Yeah, you know how grandmas can be. Yeah, you know, you know how, how grandmas, grandmas can be. That's the line. Then you go there yeah. and you get a bill. Like this. Yeah, fucking but not, not to the very end. Like, it was all grandma. Until the, everybody oh, yeah. enjoyed themselves. Yep. Then it turned into something totally different. So here we go. We're getting served that last little bit of food here. And here we go. <laughs> Pay up, motherfucker. There ah! the astronomers. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh. <laughs> Think. Yeah, they, they don't even hide it a little bit. He's like, I'll, I'll take care of it. Hey, oops, I forgot my wallet. And most people, Keen Eye, wouldn't notice the little mountain of mashed potatoes that is down in the corner. <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> that is, that's a lot of potatoes, dude. That's a lot of potatoes. Yeah, man. It's, it's like, like that's close all encounters he took. of the third kind potatoes. And then there's like a little bit of mess on them, but like, dude, like, you tell him you ate more than that's on that plate. <laughs> How much mashed potatoes like did potatoes. she make? <laughs> I like potatoes, hoops. Thank you very, th th thank you very much. <laughs> hey, hey, hoops, we got a uh, cookie. Why don't you go, go, out, with, you go <laughs> out with cookie? Uh? Don't turn and if anything back. happens. Don't. <laughs> oh, damn. This is when Demi Moore shows you she got that soul. Yeah, but you want to know who has the most soul? The guitar she player the in the blues. back. Watch the guy in the back when they do a close-up. He does not want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. Watch. He's like, is the check in the mail yet? He's like, this is fucking bullshit. He's like, I thought this was going to be He's a like, wedding yeah. reception. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's like watching Ak Ak like not know how to dance. <laughs> oh, that's the best dance though, dude. It, 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 he's like, I I can't even do it, dude. I can't even like I don't know what the yeah. hell he was doing. He's dancing to the beat of his own drum in that in that scene. 
you know what? And that's not even a white. That. That's not even a white man. That's not even a white man dance. That's like, that's like oh. some other song was playing in his head. He was listening to oh, like yeah. fucking some eighties fucking new wave song. Not her. She's playing like the blues, and she's got like you yeah. know backup singers that are all soulful and shit. Yeah, dude. He was listening to a little like a, a little Cure, or a little Depeche Mode, or something. I think. Yeah, Duran Duran. He was listening to Rio. <laughs> yeah. Her name is real. Well, look, we got backup singers dressed like I don't understand why. Like they work at a diner. I don't I'm get it. Why? Sure why is that. it? Isn't that like a? Is that like a, a maid thing on their hat? I thought it was isn't a it like diner. a French maid hat. I, I, diner girls I wear that. Had, I thought back in the day they wore things on their heads. Yeah, they did. I don't under, I don't understand the freaking Halloween costumes here. Either way, even if a waiter, waitress, or maid. I don't get it either way. Really? I think the guitarist was actually mad because he didn't get a fucking costume. What do you think of that? I, again, he thought it was an 80s reception. Yeah. If you, if you look at him. I mean, everybody else looks like they're wearing, looking at their clothes now. They're like, yeah, they all look like they're wearing costumes too. Tell me you couldn't cut him out of this and put him at a, re- a wedding reception. Dude, the motherfucker's got a scarf on. Is that a scarf? That is a, or it's a scar- or an ascot. I don't He's know. He's wearing a scarf in a fucking beach ass town. It, like, what is he like hiding a hit? Hey, dude, give him credit for at least being color quoted with the backup singers. It's the same color as their things. Give him some uh-huh. credit. <laughs> He's like, the I ain't wearing nothing emerges. crazy. He's like. Dude, you gotta wear something All like right. the rest of the I'll people do a are wearing. Fucking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do like, a listen, scarf. Fuck it. No, I, I, dude, I guarantee <laughs> you. He said at first, "Listen, I'll do a, I'll do an ascot," and they're like, "Bro, nobody wears ascots anymore." We'll, <laughs> we'll meet you halfway, and we'll put a scarf. He's like, "Bro, but it don't work with meet, this outfit." It's like, dude, take it or leave it, and that was it. Meet me so that's halfway, why motherfucker. Pissed. That's why he's oh, all pissed, and, he, and he's not even playing. He's just holding the fretboard. <laughs> oh hell no! Of course not. This is all pre-recorded. This is like a music video in the eighties. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to split that dog out of its misery for you? <laughs> <laughs> and we all know that she wasn't actually singing during this. Just so everybody fuck knows. no, no, pre-recorded. No. Absolutely, she was lip syncing at like she was doing a Milli Vanilli. And right there is the climax of the song where she goes, baby, don't look back. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, that song rocks. Yeah, nah, they're like fucking... all clapping and everything. Yeah, dude, they loved it. Don't look back. Look, yeah, look, 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 look. Woo! Look at this guy. He's like, listen, I wanted to be a ba- in the background of the Rocky movie. They didn't let me in it. So I'll do this instead. Yeah, so I had to get over here. I'm over here now. And there he is. Is that a twisted sister pin on your uniform? Yep, <laughs> yep that's him. <laughs> that's the original. Yep. The perfect prick. There, look at how happy John Cusack looks there. Like he's genuinely like laughing. I've never seen him that happy in his entire life. No. Never. Better off dead. I don't think he smiles once. No. And it's better I don't off dead. He- Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, all right, let's get to one to more die. scene. But let's do one more quick scene, and then we're going to move on. And then yeah. I left the cherry on top. The je ne sais quoi, if you will, for last. As the Fran- what the French would say, a certain I don't know what. <laughs> Nice, dude. It's Mojo. Can you guess, Tom, what scene I'm speaking of? You have one guess. That's it. What scene are you speaking of? Yes. What I would end with, the crescendo of this, of our first segment of Tobin's Ritual Guide. I would have to say... uh... The Ferrari gets cut up. No, no, it's not. No, and I. Or is it hoops makes his hoops finally makes his shot? No, dude. I'm. What I'm the really, fuck, bro? As soon as you see it, you'll know. 
Boom. Down on the corner, on the yeah. street. <laughs> so, if anybody knows this movie at all, they bury their friend in the ground. You bury. They wind off. They bury him. They buried him. And then they take off because some girls talk to him. <laughs> I know that's hard to yeah. believe, but they took off on their friend when it's a bunch of chicks talk to him. <laughs> yep. And for some reason, this guy decided to put his chair right over a human head after packing enough food for the apocalypse. <laughs> proceed to eat all of it. Now, unless this guy was a super quick eater, his friends took off on him for like two hours, three hours. Yeah, because, dude, that's isn't that like the carcass of an entire chicken? That's a whole Costco chicken, bro. God. Done. Done. And what, what's, with the Nest, what's with the Nestle in the back? Oh, that's what a white chocolate. What the hell was that? Nestle, An ice cream man. bar? No, that was a regular chocolate bar. That was a little, uh, that was a little dessert in between hot dogs. Fuck out of here. So, um, but then, you know, you think after consuming just the food you see down there, that would be enough to make anybody burst and be sick. But this guy decides to coup de gras. I don't know if they show it. Yes, the coup de gras. It's chili con carne and- with beans. <laughs> a huge 10-year supply of it. He decides oh, yeah, that's to the apocalypse to can. Yes, that's, that's what you find you, in a that's bunker. That's the can you keep in your nuclear, yeah, nuclear bunker, yeah. Fallout exactly, shelter. dude. Exactly. So he and he decides to eat that at the end. At the end, after eating all the other stuff. If yo, dude, if that was in your nuclear fallout shelter, you'd be able to power like a generator for like three years with all the methane coming out of your ass. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Oh yeah, and let's, major let's just fart, say, fart power. They finally figure out that they left them there, and it doesn't turn out well for our friend. <laughs> George needs uh, resuscitation. C- CPR ASAP. Get the code card. <laughs> Dead right. by ass. Exactly. What better way to end that? So that again, one crazy summer. You should check it out. It's it's good. It's a good movie. Um, if you've seen Better Off Dead and like that, you'll definitely like this, without a doubt. And yeah, it's it's a it's, an, it's a must have for for the uh, for the eighties genre people. Um, there's a lot of people these days because of Stranger Things and stuff like that are starting to realize that the eighties were pretty dope, and they're right. So um, if you're going to go backwards in time, if you're younger than us or whatever. Um, Definitely the John Cusack era with Better Off Dead and One Crazy Summer, absolute must have. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So let us know there's, if there's you so like There's so many us. other scenes that we can't even get to. No, dude, we'd be here for an hour. We yeah. can do a whole nother 30 minutes on more stuff just from yeah, this yeah. movie. But then, you know, like, then the, I, I, we're giving too much away then. So something else happened a couple days ago. Uh, again, this is on, we're August 3rd right now, 2023. We lost Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens. Now, I know there was a lot of things said about him, him being kind of a pervert, not just the, the, uh, the theater thing, but kind of some weird things. You know, we're purely going to talk about his character's. And what he did for cinema. That's it. Him as a person, we're not bringing into this conversation whatsoever. Okay? So, in honor of the character of Pee Wee Herman, he is going to be the subject of our Tobin's Retro Guide. Anybody want to play Parcheesi? Now, there he is, everybody. Oh! Now,
Now, Tom, Tom, can you tell me what movie this is from? I actually can't. I don't. I don't know which one. But he looks like he has a boomerang bow tie on. Let's just say that this character right here preceded the character of Pee Wee Herman. Shut up. This was his first on-screen role. No. Yeah, dude, you ready for it? You want to know what it was? What? Cheech and Chong's next movie. Shut the hell up. He's in a Cheech movie first? Before yep. Big Adventure? Yes. They, they put him in a movie Whoa. first. They put him in a movie first, dude. Nobody wow. knew who he was. Just, so really. this is before the this is before the Pee Wee's the Dirty Pee Wee TV show. Even Pee Wee's play, yeah, the Dirty One, everything, everything. It precedes everything. The, the, the Dirty, the Playhouse was originally dirty for adults, right? Which his character and now listen, he wasn't only in next movie. Here's another shot from next movie. This is from next movie when he oh, was on stage. Shoot. When he, he did wow, his Pee Wee Herman character a little bit in the movie. <laughs> like he, he 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 announced Pee Wee Herman in next movie. But he was on stage in a bar and then Chi uh, Chich and Chong were there in the bar and they were heckling him. And then they wind up going on stage and telling jokes and he gets all pissed and blah blah blah. But that was like the first technical time I bet most people well really people in movies saw Pee Wee Herman on screen. But again, like you didn't yeah, know, was... most people didn't even know. I had no idea. Most people, and most people don't, dude. Most people don't have any clue. But then he wasn't only in that. He wasn't only in that. He was in a second Cheech and Chong movie. He was also in Nice Dreams. <laughs> so oh Cheech and Chong Nice Dreams, he played a guy from a, a psycho ward. And he winds up meeting them because no the girl that comes that winds up having a good time with Cheech under the table. He shows up with her, but he escaped from a nut house and he doesn't say much, but he's like, Rrr. you know, he does that stuff. And he's like, and then he's like trying to tell Chong to come under the table. And he's like, I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. And he's like, eh. and, I, and then they go under there. So all four of them are under this little, a uh, little Chinese table. And then the Chinese guy, like the Chinese waiter, walks up, looks underneath, and goes, "Hey, you want fried rice or something?" I forget exactly what he said. And they're like, Rrr! and he's like, "Oh, okay, okay." <laughs> and then he goes, oh, <laughs> "What?" Yeah, and then he winds up being in a nut house towards the end of the move. The movie, dude, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. We should talk about yeah, it. I never and we have to talk about Cheech and Chong at some point on here because they were a big. I know. Agree with it or not, they were a big part of my childhood. Okay, huge part. Let's just say yeah, they I don't were know if awesome, I would, but I didn't see all their movies. I saw like Corsican Brothers, and obviously Up in Smoke. Everyone saw Up in Smoke, you know. But I didn't. I didn't really go that deep into every movie they came out with, though. I've watched every movie millions of times. I've listened to every one of their albums millions of times. I've watched them live. I've watched documentaries, dude. I dressed like Cheech. In eighth grade for Halloween. That's awesome. So, what does that tell did you? Your so teachers I, write, did your teachers write an, a letter to your parents saying how bad they were? Not only did they not do that, but I was going to a Catholic You're raising grammar raising a reefer school. addict. It was a, it was a Catholic grammar school. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, dude. I, dude, I, I, I went to Catholic school, believe it or not, everyone, all my life. My whole life, I've gone to Catholic schools, and I always just pushed against a little bit. I don't know if anyone can believe it, but I always pushed a little bit <laughs> against it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this was really his first big on-screen things was in these Chi Chi That's crazy. Yeah, dude. I even think he might have played live with him at some point, too. I'm not sure. But then after this, that's when the uh, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse came out. So they basically gave him his break, kind of like 
kind of like Tracy Ullman show started was responsible for the Simpsons. Right. Cheech was basically Cheech and Chong were basically responsible for him. Exactly. That's exactly. Crazy. Dude. I would have never known that. And that's what we all know him from. Like when we first started seeing him, because that was right around when we were kids, when this was on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe a tiny bit starting to get out of the range of it a little bit, but it was still like it was funny enough and weird enough where even if you were a little older, you watched it, you know, because it was kind of weird. It was weird. He's a weird dude. I just remember them. The first thing I ever saw was the movie. And then after then the you movie. went back and watched that. I, I saw, yeah, saw the show. And you knew him from But then this. I realized. Uh, yeah, yeah, from Big Adventure was the first thing we all knew. And we were in elementary school. So it's like, holy shit. Like, this is like, that movie took the world by storm. Pee-wee's Big Adventure. But it's like, right. I don't remember watching the TV show. The kid friendly one, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Was it was it Saturday mornings? From what I remember, yes, I it was. I feel like it was Saturday mornings. But at then I got into the show, and then as I got older, they're like, Oh yeah, do you know there was actually a dirty version like before the the kid version? And I'm like, No. Yeah, and, and that's like, where oh, Chi Chi like, knew him from. That's where they knew him from. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's how them. I was just like, Wow, I didn't I didn't realize that he was this dirty dude. Now, what do you think one of his next movies was? And when I say this movie, if you don't get it, okay, now think early. Don't give me late movies, dude. Don't give me Big Top. It's before Big Top and all that, dude. It was early, but it's a movie. If and I, dude, We're going to have to cover it, and we already talked about it. And if you don't remember it when you see it, and if you didn't even know it when you see it, you're going to flip out. So what do you think... The next one, not a big part, more of a cameo. More, he's in it for about five to ten minutes. I know, I know exactly what it is. Bro. Say it, lay it on me, bro. Lay it on me. Well, I'm going down, damn it. I belong. Where the days are short and the nights are long. Frankie Avalon, back to the beach. Boom! Good job! The bird is the word. I said the bird. Bro, very nicely done, dude. Yes, back to the beach. Uh, I yeah. almost, I almost forgot, but I, I came, it came to me in a vision. <laughs> it came to me. It was like Marty. Was I had a revelation, a vision, <laughs> the flux capacitor. <laughs> yeah, dude, it really. Uh, that was. Uh, I remember. I think the MTV even played the video. It was like Pee Wee Herman had a music video, and it was the bird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, it was from the movie. For about 10 what is that? Yeah, yeah, ten minutes exactly. And he was on the where he's on the beach the whole scene, and then he takes off flying into space on a fucking surf. <laughs> yes, dude. It's like, hey, dude. <laughs> and he's like, Later. <laughs> and it was like the, the corniest freaking trick, movie trick ever. The and worst like, CGI the, the looking like, thing. And he's like, yeah, it CGI. It was like freaking some guy drew it in a piece of paper. It looked like a cartoon. <laughs> and like, was, it was I like was the, the, be the, nice. the, 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 yeah, the surfboard started glowing. Uh, it was like yes. glowing. And then he just like takes off. And you're like, what the hell was that? And all you hear is, ah! <laughs> that's all you hear as he's flying away. Yeah. <laughs> now, after yeah, he this, came out of nowhere. Exactly. Like, he came up, did his thing, and then flew back to his planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is where a lot of people jumped on too was Big Top. Big Top was when a bunch of people jumped on. Oh yeah, well I mean I didn't think that was that would that that didn't touch the first one though. And no, this wasn't what's a Tim her Burton name was movie, great, was it? it? Uh, what's her name? That Italian actress. What was her name? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I I don't remember uh I don't remember her name. You know who I'm I talking, talking about, about. Though, it, right? What the freaking uh, the pickle of poopala? <laughs> the pickle of poop. <laughs> <laughs> the pickle of poopala brothers, wasn't it? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh my god, we need CPR. Oh, we need CPR. Oh, He's oh, dead. That was great, dude. You're on point tonight. You took your ginkgo coloma, dude. <laughs> You're on point, dude. 
Nice. Dude, the pickle because <laughs> I was I used to laugh at the name, the pickle of poopola brothers. I don't know remember what her name was though. Remember the little, what the the hell little was person? Her name? Bella? Yeah, I, yes, I think so. Yes. Of course remember it was Bella. Guy, it's like, it's like, the little Joe, guy. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, ciao, Bella. All of a sudden, like, he knows, like, Italian. He's, like, staying Italian just to try and get her. Oh, man. And he's cheating on Penelope. What's her face? Penelope and Miller? Are you Was ready? that the actress? Yes. Are you ready for some deep? I'm going to hit you with some deep trivia. We're going to see. You ready? Stop. Chris Christopherson. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Who was who was the actor that played the dog faced boy? The dog faced gremlin? No. I don't um, wow. Oh shoot. I don't know that one. Are you sure you don't want to take it for a second? Think about it. Because you may be think in back country. Think about it. You might be in back country. Think ab- think about it. It wasn't Johnny. Oh, shit. Benicio? Boom, sir. Yes, sir. That's who was That was Benicio boy. played the... Watch the, it the again. The man or whatever the fuck. No. Yes, sir. Holy shit. He, yeah, he probably was super young in that movie, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was. All right, now. Whoa. Next movie. It was campy. And he had a semi-main part in it. And it was a, it was definitely way different than what he usually did. It was still comedy, but it was different. Let's see if you got it. I'm drawing a blank. You want me to say? What the hell did he do after this? I forgot. Most people do that he was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer with Christy Swanson. What? He was one of the vampires. Yeah, see, I never watched Buffy. It's crazy. There's like a cult of people that like love Buffy. Like to this day, I still see people that like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy, like that's it's more got, like, the this series. crazy underground following. That's more the Josh was a uh, Whedon series. <laughs> this was the movie with Jason, um, uh, not Jason Priest. Oh, the yeah, they made a movie. Yeah, who was the other one from Beverly Hills? The one that passed away. What was his name? I'm out and drawing a blank. Oh, uh, what's his face? The guy who played what's his face? Luke Perry? Luke Perry. Same time we said yeah. it. Yeah. Nice. Luke Perry. Yeah. Luke Perry was in it. Christy Swanson. Yeah, that wow. was it. But most people, when they, they're really into Buffy, it's the Josh Whedon series that they're into. And then right around this time is when um, he got arrested in the theater. It was right around this time. Wow. So that was right after he got yeah. caught jerking the gherkin. In Sarasota, of all places. Right. Exactly. Like, who the, who the hell else was in there? Like, a bunch of geriatrics, probably. Probably. Nobody that gave a shit what he was doing. That's for sure. Yeah. They were all grandpas with a little bit of lead left in the pencil. Exactly. Now, do you remember that he had a revival and he went on Broadway and he went back to being more adult? Do you remember this? No. That he did Pee Wee on Broadway? He was on Broadway? Yeah, dude. Wait, Not is that the, Cowboy I, Curtis? Not the original. That's not the original. That's that other actor, and I can't think of his name. Who was the original, asshole? The guy with the the messed um, uh, Morpheus. Yeah, Larry Fishburne. Yeah, exactly. A young, young Lawrence Fishburne. Crazy shit. Yeah. Of all people. Now, that was on Broadway. I don't know how long that was on Broadway for. But then after that, did you watch the show he did on Netflix? This one? Pee-wee's Big Holiday? Did you watch that? No. I remember people were talking about it. I was going to watch it. It just never happened. Dude, it was I watched it. during my miserable marriage. 
I watched it. It was definitely Pee Wee. He was older. It didn't hit as funny as the other stuff. But if you want Pee Wee, it's good. Yeah. And you you could actually little, watch was, it with your kid. Was it like a little more? Did he do more adult humor, though? Was he like kind of like? Not that I remember. I thought it was okay for kids. Maybe I was mistaken. I watched it once. Dude. Believe me, I didn't go back and watch it again. At all. What was Pee Wee lost in New York, like Macaulay Culkin? Yeah, it was him, Macaulay Culkin, and Jason Voorhees. They all got lost in Manhattan. <laughs> um, you know what's going to be fun? I can't wait to do stuff in October on the podcast because I love Halloween. Me and you, it's both our birthday months. It's going to be fun. We're going to do some stuff. I can't wait. But anyway, we're going to end off with something that I'm sure you don't know because you don't watch the show, but I watch the TV series, What We Do in the Shadows. I know you don't watch you're forget, it. But it was, you're for, you, are forget, you are forgetting a cameo mo uh, movie, though. Uh, which I one? Got Go you, for it. Hit, fucker. hit it. Where's the blow? Yes! Yes! Very, very good, dude. Why don't you tell everybody what that's from? Well, when he was in Blow with Johnny Depp, he played, I can't remember the name of the character, but he's basically his California connect, I think, yes. that starts distributing Blow for him over there, and then eventually the Colombians cut Johnny Depp out, and he totally fucks Johnny over after Johnny got him set up. He was just this total, like, you know, he was just a dick, you know, he just fucked his, fucked his boy over, who got him started, and then... uh the Colombians cut Johnny Depp out because Johnny Depp was screwing around with one of the cartel's wives. And, um, I mean, that kind of is what happens. Usually most mafia don't smile too well on that, but yeah, it was, it was a small role, but it was, it was kind of different. It was nice to see him play something in a big movie. Cause that was a big movie. Most, we all saw that movie. That was a great movie. Um, true space on true story. Right there. Yep, there he is. Yeah, look at him all freaking like 60s out and shit. Yeah, dude, with that big yeah, bag that was... of weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they started with weed. Yeah, yeah. Just like all the drug smugglers, they were all smuggling weed, and they're like, wait, wait, I can make how much money with this uh, for half the tonnage? <laughs> like, and you yeah, know so it's that... accurate because you have paneling and a rotary phone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good setup, good uh, set design there. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, so like I was saying before that one, so good job, bro. Good job. Um, I try. As I was, I was saying before that, there's a show called What We Do in the Shadows. It was a movie first, and now there's a TV show. It's about vampires. And in one episode, oh, wow. they had this, this vampire council. And as a throwback to all the vampires in cinema, they had them each part of the council. So they had Danny Trejo from like from Dust Till Dawn. So his vampire was there. So he was there. They had Pee Wee Herman from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So his character was there. So check him out. This was like last year. Wow. So it must have been one of the last ones he did, probably. You know? Yeah, I guess so. Because I literally, I believe it was last season. I, we're in the middle of a new season I'm watching right now and um yeah. i could swear it was last season i don't know but that's crazy right i never saw I mean, it but it was a cool throwback it was a really cool throwback and they had a couple other ones too there uh, other vampires from other movies so yeah man so yeah Did they we have lost steven them even dorf i think he was there dude i think he was there steven dorf Maybe, I think. You got to give homage to Stephen Dorff. He was one of the coolest vampires of all time, in Deacon my opinion. Deacon Frost. Deacon Frost, baby. Dude, and the craziest thing of all is that that started basically, that saved Marvel. They always talk about that. That was like the first yeah. real Marvel movie was Blade. Crazy shit. Yeah, one dude, that it sucks. Hit, one hit good, uh, yeah. That hit good. Oh yeah, definitely. that was a great movie. That was a great movie. But yeah, but um, Pee Wee, yeah, he was the shit, and um, he was a big part of our childhood. It sucks that you know he had a kind of fucked up life, but um, 
I only knew about, you know, the, uh, you know, the theater incident, but I didn't know too much about anything else's personal life. But, um, I mean, there's I guess, accusations you know, of some, some gross stuff from what I was told. Well, I, I hope, yeah, other, I hope not, but you know, I don't know, dude, again, none of this was based off. This was just Pee Wee Herman and the actor and his characters. That was it. We're not yeah, honoring yeah. him like he's some kind of special man or anything like that. His characters were a part of our life back then. And sometimes it's okay to just remember those characters like they were and enjoy the, and like, come on, man, we, we all growing up in growing up in the eighties, we all had a bike and we all fucking la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Radical. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we all wanted that bike with all the James Bond stuff on it, dude. Of course. Yeah, that thing was dope. We all wanted The it. best was when I always remember the part, dude, like I thought I like cracked a code in the Matrix when I picked out when he keeps pulling the chain out of the bike. And then you look yeah. at the bottom of the screen and you see it going through the bottom <laughs> of the freaking <laughs> saddlebag on the back. Yes. yes. And I was just like, oh, shit, they didn't cut that out. Someone's getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely dude yeah. that stuff is great i love finding this we should do that one time too there's like full-on clips of all the little mistakes you miss and stuff it's yeah, crazy yeah. man youtube is dude, a I deep, actually, deep I actually ocean did, of, of stuff dude <laughs> i actually i still use i still use peewee's big adventure like sayings to this day like you know and so i was like oh guess what i got and i'll be like good for you and your father <laughs> like, like there's just some shit that's just eternal like you know someone's fucking gloating about some shit oh look what i got be like good for you and your father like some shit right. like it just never dies like that shit's eternal right exactly with the character the character the character of Pee Wee. what paul rubens did in his personal life that's between him and the man upstairs but it's like those those character the character of Wee will live forever that's the Absolutely. only character anyone will ever remember. And we all laughed our ass off. And we all were walking around going, ah, like we yeah, all fucking course. did it. Of course. Because of Tell that guy Lars like Lars <laughs> sent you. How many times have you said that in your life? Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, uh, I mean, or uh, what else is it? You know, everybody I know has a big butt. Let's talk <laughs> about your big butt. Like. It's just like so many lines that are just like eternal from that from Pee Wee's Big Adventure above all. I I mean I feel like that was like that was his magnum opus. That was his shit. That was it, and it was did, and did plus Tim it was Burton? Burton. Yes, I was just gonna say. Did Tim, crew, yeah. Tom Abatz, there it is, dude. Again, the connection, Always. the connections there, bro. <laughs> did he did he uh, do Big Top Pee Wee? He didn't though, right? Tim Burton, no. not big, no, not Big Top, no, just Big Adventure. No, did. no way. I yeah. You could tell yeah, watching yeah, yeah. it. You're just like, no, nah, it's not the same. Oh guy. yeah, Can't be. that's why he did a big, a big tribute to him, Burton, when he passed. Oh really? I didn't see that. Yeah, I yeah. should check that out. Yeah, you should definitely. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the beginning. Pee Wee, rest in peace. A salud. And that's uh, Tobin's uh, retro guy. Welcome everybody to Tobin's retro guy, and this guy welcomes you as well. Now, so we don't know who this is. guy is, though. Now, I'm not. Do I we ever never, know who that is? I don't know. I don't. I don't. They know. never say. Maybe there is research they, somewhere in the Pantera lore that says who this man is. I don't know. Who was wearing the mask? We don't know. We don't know. All we know is that he left us. That's all we know. That's all we know. We did all we could. We did all we could. We did all we could. Forget him. <laughs> now, uh, that's pretty much kind of towards the beginning of the home video. So that actually, that's how it starts. That's a very like that's like the intro when he pops up. Yeah. Just before they kick in. Now we're gonna skip around. This just happened to be the first one I brought up. Um, now each one I'm going to, now, obviously I got them together, so I'm going to let Tom speak on them as they pop up. So Tom, here's your next one. Tell me what this is. 
I don't know. I can't. Is this the kid crying because he meets Pantera? Boom, brother! Thank you, that's sir. A, that's yes, Spani- it is. Yeah, he's like a Spanish kid. I, look, I think they're in South America. And he's yes. uh, he's basically, yeah, he, he's like, he can't believe that he... He looked like he was pretty wasted, though. I couldn't tell if he was wasted or what, but... <laughs> he was he's bawling his eyes out, and that's his dad was with Yeah, him. yeah. He could, that's definitely his old man. Yeah, yeah. He's all starstruck. Yeah, that was cool. And then at the very end, he's he's like, yeah! At the end, he's like, yeah! (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he sounds like a freaking South American James Hetfield. He's like, yeah! Yeah, How do you know he's not in a tribute band at this point in South America? No. We should research who that kid is. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever became of him, man. Maybe he's in a band. I would, I would love to know. I would love to know. Um, <clears throat> all right, next. You ready? Don't do it, guy. <laughs> guy, guy. Go for guy. That's guy. Guy Sykes That's kicking the door well, in. We don't know whose well, door he's kicking in, though. He's, he's wasted out of his mind. His eyes are all yes. squirrely. Yes. He's fucked up beyond recognition. He's totally foobar. And he's just kicking this door. And you just see Bobby just like, don't do it, guy. <laughs> and like you see Bobby like Bobby yes. like walks away. He's like, I don't wanna I don't wanna have nothing to do with this because the popo is gonna show up. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's gonna yeah, get arrested. Think about it. I'm getting You're the sleeping and that's you hear that like yeah. that's not him just knocking. That's he's playing he's kicking it with his foot. <laughs> Or maybe he locked himself out and he's trying to kick his own door in. Who knows? It's just not going to end well. So No. But the, what part comes yeah, like, right okay. around here? Serengeti. No. no. Yes, you're not. No, no. You're not wrong. But what pops up while this is happening? I don't remember. And here it is for you, my yeah. friend. With my credit card. <laughs> the devil. So, uh, the devil, yeah. The old devil guy. Yep. That's who pops up. He's like right in the corner. He pops up. Yeah, he was awesome. He's so funny. I love that guy. Now, what part? Obviously, you know who this next person is, but what part is this? Oh, shit. Is that pre blown? Nope. I'm kidding. That's not I'm pre-blown. When <laughs> Dime's like, pre-blown. I'm pre-blown. It is. It is. Dime Bonics. Uh, bro, I know my right. shit. You're I'm pre-blown, right. man. You know, like, what does he say? He's like, it's already pre-blown. I'm pre-blown, so I'm already hooked up. He's I already like, got pre- tore up. Like you- I got hooked up, so I'm already <laughs> tore up. So I'm pre-blown. <laughs> or something along them lines. Yeah, says. yeah. He's like, makes sense. He's like, makes sense? Of course it don't. Dime Bonics. <laughs> that's when he says diamond bonics. Yep. All right. Yep. That's when it Next starts. person. I, I'm I'm real happy. I I didn't plan for this, but this turned into like Pantera trivia with Tom as the guest. <laughs> well, we watched this movie enough times because it's a, such a classic. Ooh, Joe Far, you, you're you're 100 correct. So let's see if you keep it going. Oh. Pantera number one. Pantera yeah, but what's, he what's he saying there? Domination. Yes. Yes, dude. Very good, bro. Dude, he knew he knew domination. He's All like, right, domination. Look- and he's like. <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> he starts fucking playing drums like a motherfucker. <laughs> air drums. He starts air drumming on an airplane. <laughs> In the middle of the aisle. In the middle of the aisle. Yeah. As well. He was a he was a good sport because then after that, remember he had his glasses on and he's like hiya hiya. Hi-ya <laughs> he started hi-ya, doing like karate. Hi-ya, ch- he started hi-ya. doing rich hand karate, rich hand, rich hand chops. How'd they get him and to it, do that? I have no idea. I think he just did a quick one because it looks edited and cut. <laughs> so I think they they got him. Well, to he do had one. The, he had the very he had those crazy black rim like Bruce Lee black rim glasses yeah. like the ones Bruce would wear when he was pretending yeah. to be an electrician when he was like spying on the enemy before he went and fucked everybody up. So like, he had, he had those like black rim like you know glasses that make him look like make him look meek and like nerdy. And he's like, "Hiya!" 
That was awesome. I remember that exactly what you're best. talking about. Well, right, I, I, I guess he was one. Japanese. He must have been Japanese because he said Pantera Ichiban. That's a Japanese one. That's where they were, remember? That's where that whole segment is in Japan. Oh, yeah, he said, yo, we're in Tokyo. And the lady's like, no, Tokyo. He's yeah, like, Turkey-o. something's like, Tokyo. Yeah, 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 dime's so fucked <laughs> up. He no, says, no. Like, hey, we are in Tokyo. It's like, Tokyo. <laughs> She's like, no, Tokyo. <laughs> dime was fucking uh, nuts, man. Here we go. So funny. What part is What is that? Oh, shit. The dummy. Yes, dude. Where are where are they the right in that picture? The dummy suicide. They're in the glass out. They look like they're at an embassy suites. Because that's yes, what it looks the- like. It's one of those open. It looks exactly like embassy suites. It's got the glass elevator. They go to the top floor and they drop that motherfucker down onto the buffet table. <laughs> And then the glass, yeah, the glass, <laughs> the glass hits the floor and breaks. You can tell because they're all beating his ass. Remember that they're like carrying. Yeah. I think Phil He's was carrying him around. <laughs> He's like, yo, just looking at me, man. And they're like, Phil's like doing freaking combinations on him. And he's like, I'm sick of everyone picking on me. I'm going to end it right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they dropped him from the top floor. Yo, that was crazy. That was pretty cool, I... though. Oh, shit. It's the Dallas Cowboy, Vinny Paul. What's he saying? Uh, right I don't there, remember dude. what part this is. Is this... uh? I'll oh, say one wait. thing. I won't even say this exact part, but when you give up, if you do, I'll say one thing, dude, and you'll know it. Instantly. It ain't the black tooth grin, is it? He's like, What's you ride it up, Phil. Ride out. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I know you get it, dude. Come <laughs> yeah, on, dude. Yeah, he's talking about his it. tooth falling out. Ride yeah. out, Phil. Ride out and forward. Perfect. <laughs> All right. This one you'll know in a second. It's not even really fair putting it up. It's an inspiration for our, uh, our intro to... Uh, Get real. Get <laughs> real. And so that's Dallas Cowboy fan. So that's it's so funny because that... he's like the whitest. He's such a like a white oh, dude yeah. with like the cowboy and the freaking hat. He does not look like a Pantera fan. He does not look like a metalhead. No. It looks like this guy would not get pulled. He's like, what he y'all would... listening to OV? Yeah, like, y'all, what y'all doing? He's the last guy that would get pulled over. He doesn't look like a long-haired pothead. Oh, he's designated driver, 100%. Oh, absolutely. He would never get profiled. Nope. Not like us in high school. Hey, man, racial profiling, metalheads, man. Metalheads' lives matter, too, bro. We got pulled over all the time. Yeah. When we had long hair, I got pulled over all the fucking time. Cops always fuck with me, bro. And my last name's Irish, not Colombian. If my last yeah. name was my mom's maiden name, then I probably would have got pulled over a lot. Even <laughs> but <laughs> that's a story for another time. Possibly. That's another but story. But yeah, this dude, this, this, who, we still don't know who this guy is. Just out of nowhere, oh. he just goes, get. He takes a shot. He's like, get. He must have been the friend of somebody or somebody that got backstage or something. He wasn't part of the crew. Yeah, I highly I, doubt that. It's highly just so doubt. crazy. One clip. This is the only clip of this dude in the whole movie. And every time it came on, I always fucking laugh my ass off. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. you couldn't, you couldn't not no. laugh at him. <laughs> That's why I have it in there, dude. That's exactly why. It's after in he there. drinks it, he's like, ah. <laughs> you'll hear it later, know, guys. We'll, we'll play it when we go into Get Real. It starts off the intro. You'll hear it. Yep, that's him. He lives. All right, another another uh, pitch right down the middle, dude. Unfortunately. Hey, Grady. Fix this son of a bitch. Right on, dude. Boom, boom, right boom, on. Boom, 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 boom. Again, this little <laughs> red devil guy pops up throughout the whole home video at different points. And he even dresses differently. And we have no idea who he is. No. Obviously, I doubt he's alive. He wasn't young there. He's maybe is he someone's dad? Like who is he? Maybe. Maybe somebody's we dad have no or idea. Oh, dude, another. It's mysterious. It's cosmic. Listen, <laughs> I'm sorry for all these easy ones, dude. It does. I, I, I wish I came up with harder ones for you. 
Nah, there's, it's all right, man. This is Hulk blood all, the t- all day. This is also the same guy who drank five double Greyhounds, five, five. minutes, $500. Dollars. <laughs> Watch it go. Listen. <laughs> now. So I think. Something about the lead whatever his name was. Cro- the lead singer of Crowbar. A Crowbar. Lead- crowbar. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's the lead singer of Crowbar. It's exactly But he's always like. Whoosh. Like he always does like the. He does like he a does cat, cat hiss. Yeah. He's always doing the cat hiss. He's like. Whoosh. And he, <laughs> he does it right before he does the thing. <laughs> 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 All right. Now. Here's a chat. That's a funny motherfucker. One. Here's a slight challenge in one. Oh, sure. It's the package. What's he say right at this part? Dude, this isn't just trivia for the regular person. This is a super well, right trivia. Right here while he's drinking, the only thing you hear is, ooh, 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 Yes, ooh, but he's, ooh. <laughs> but when Every he does time he used to drink, you would. He does something right before. I always it's... like to wash my set. Thank you, dude. Done. Done. It's Another the correct fucking one. Package. package. Dude, that is fantastic, man. I'm proud of you. All right, now, another hard one. Now, I know you know the part, but I want you to say the thing he says that we used to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The devil's crying because he hurt his shoulder boxing, <laughs> and they're like, "Yo, what he says like, oh yo, did you throw it out?" He's like, "I know I did." That's it. Thank you, sir. He Another- hurts his he hurts his shoulder, so it's a boxing match. Yeah, it's a boxing match, and he fucking throws his shoulder out. And he literally just goes down like a ton of ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag because his shoulder hurts. <laughs> And they're like, oh, fight's over, fight's over. <laughs> Phil is like the referee. He's like, he's like, all right. He's like, let's go. And he's like, watch it go. They're freaking fighting. And like Phil's doing the commentary. He's like, right hand, right hand. He's like oh, doing yeah. it. And out of nowhere, you just see, you just see him go, oh! <laughs> yeah, he just all of the crowd. And then they drowned. And that's when the devil comes up, and the devil's like, <laughs> It's like, yo, yo, what happened, man? You threw it out? He's like, I know I I did. All right, here's a little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. (laughs) Oh, shit. Well, it's the pack. Is that? I don't remember this part. It's hard to stay. I'm going to give you a second. I want to give you a second, dude, because you've been getting them, dude. I'll leave That's it a lot. That's not when he runs through the. Is that when he runs through the hall? Is that when he runs through the dance hall thing and they're throwing shit at him? No? No. This is not. Uh, here's your hint. It's not his segment. <clears throat> oh, shit. I'm stuck. I'll give you a hint. He just opened something. The package just opened something. All right. Nobody's perfect, but God. It's the motherfucking cat. Oh, shit. That's when the cat jumps out. (laughs) Yes. 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 It's the fucking cat. (laughs) All right. Oh, shit. Here's a pitch right down the middle for you. <laughs> that dude hit some high, high notes, man. And then the whole time, everyone's just like, Shh, the devil comes up. He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, and he was, oh, they, there's video of him on stage. He would go on stage at shows and just say, yeah, light him up. <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah. That's where. That's where this. Yes, yes, exactly. So, all right. I, I, you probably get it. Is that um? Is that guy's brother? No. Yes. Yes. Very good, sir. 
Fuck it up go. with Pantera. Pantera. I love my brother. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, next. brother. We're going back a little bit. Pantera Ichiban, there it is. Yes, yes. Pantera and here's another one. easy one. It's the fucking package. Boom, boom. All right, boom. you ready? Boom. You're boom. gonna lose it on boom. this one. Boom. <laughs> You're gonna lose boom. it on this boom. one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the fucking. What does he got? Like that magic shit that like lights yeah. up. That's that when he's lighting it up all the time. Yeah, yeah, and he, he's lighting it between people's toes while they're sleeping and shit. Yep, yep. And he's actually trying to oh talk to him God. and say, "So you want a, a line in the bedroom? You want a line over here?" And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, no, what is he? What was he? The cable? What was he? The cable guy? Not the cable the phone, guy. I'm the phone man. I'm the phone man. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the black tooth grin on him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the phone man. <laughs> All right. Now you mentioned this earlier. Let's see if you know what it is. What's happening? Microwavable, microwavable Serengeti. <laughs> exactly. It's a real shame. It's a real shame what you guys did to my Serengetis, but guess what? They're back! <laughs> All right. Oh, so th this is when they're cooking them on the stove. Oh, shit! The mask, bro! What was that? The air I breathe. If you look at the bottom, you see it's the top of the head of the devil coming up. Oh, that's the devil. He's up. about to inhale the little devil guy. <laughs> and isn't he like laughing when he goes up through the tube? He seems like, Rah, ha, ha, ha. yes, yes, he's laughing, of course. And you mentioned this earlier as well. Was that we, we work real hard and that nah, it's time to party. No? It, yes, exactly. And for the last one. That's right. Before he, he, light, it, he lights the super joint. Yes. Yes. Right. He's, he's literally about to put it to his lips in that picture. <laughs> Dude, he looks like Gary Oldman there. A little bit, doesn't he? Fucking dime looks like he's fucking Vlad Dracula. Dracula. Yeah, dude. He's like when he, when, uh. When uh, he looks like he just met Winona Ryder. No, it's like when Kiefer Sutherland and uh, is is laying and trying to sleep, and all his brides are eating him, and the door swings open. He's like, Ooh, la and it comes in, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ah! and they start going up the walls and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Kiefer Sutherbox, you mean Keanu Reeves? Oh yeah. <laughs> There was another Guts moment. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. There you go. <laughs> we'll make a note of that. All right. Yeah. Last one. Nice. As a tribute uh, to you, because you talked about it earlier. Ah! Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> I suggest. That's when he's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I suggest awesome. every person. Buy this, rent this, somehow watch it once in their lives. It is absolutely worth every penny if you buy that. Yes. Absolutely. I put it up there with, I've got to put up Watch It Go by Pantera. I know it's a home, vi the, the, you know, the video for a band. All right. But I put it up there with the fucking greats, dude. Absolutely, with every funny fucking movie I can think of, whether it's yes. Step Brothers, you know, uh, Forty Year Old Virgin, Harlem Nights, like some of the greats off the top of my head, bro, that I can it's, think of. You know, people say old, old school, Caddyshack, right? Whatever, Caddyshack too. I like fucking watch it go is up there with them as one of the funniest movies you will ever see. And the craziest thing about it all is that one of the funniest, coolest dudes of all time was a fucking legend on guitar, yeah. absolute legend. Of all time, legend goat 
of the guitar of the six string and he was just the funniest bunch of motherfuckers and like everyone on their crew they just the the shit that they would do the pranks they would play it's like oh my god man touring with pantera Dude. must sound look like the funniest fucking hilarious most hilarious time ever they were having the best time doing it let's end with this it was like Haley's comet you're pretty much yeah. going to see it once in your lifetime you have to be in the right place if you're lucky it, if you're lucky and that's yeah. what that was to have all those characters you know they could have had who they could have had anybody but they had just these characters the way they interacted and the, and the way they presented yeah. them and the way they edited it, it wasn't just hey here's some backstage pantera stuff and us on tour it was a whole no. experience you know what i mean it was a whole movie it was a movie in my opinion yeah because there's there's home videos of other bands like i said before on the other time we recorded talking about it but um there's other home videos and usually it's just like them on tour doing interviews talking about music talking about being in the band and that's it and it's like it's it's right. not really a lot where this was like an abs an absolute production i mean clips of some of the crazy shit these guys would see because pantera like i said they're one of those bands their music was Haley's comment when they first came out they took over my high school like wildfire and it was like everybody was like jesus christ these guys are unbelievable before that it was like Metal fans were like Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer. We're like, yeah, yeah, but Pantera just came out as a completely different animal and stomped on everything. And people were like, holy shit. And they're like, dude, this guy is guitar. Everyone used to talk about it. all my musician friends and non musician friends. Like, you hear that song, Cemetery Gates? I'm like, yeah. And like, that guy, who's that guitarist? Like, holy shit. Like, the thing, the notes he's hitting, those harmonics he's hitting at the end, like, that shit's crazy. Cemetery Gates is so good. And like, that was their first record. This new record, Vulgar Display, holy shit. We were all like, oh my God, it took over. And it like, um, then you watch this video, like the Vulgar video from the Vulgar Display. It was funny and it was, it was the beginning. You could see the beginnings of what it could be and how entertaining it could be. Watch it go. The th was just, it took it to a whole other level. Yeah, Vulgar video and was like, good, but it was no watch it go, dude. It was no watch no, it go. No, no, not at all. It was, it was a third of, of the... A third of the shenanigans and the, and the, they 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 knew that that worked after vulgar video they were like wow this really works this is hilarious we got to go with this and then like and they said was watch it. it go and they said watch that it was go. it watch it go was was it all clips of the funniest crazy shit crazy amounts of drinking how these guys just kept drinking oh dude and then just they would just drink they would just drink pedialyte in the morning and keep going next night they'd do it again and then Dime would be drinking. Like, you see how much this guy was drinking, how his liver was, was not shot, and how, he could go on, and how he could go on stage and play like he would play and make the guitar make all these crazy noises, sound like a pterodactyl was, mixed with a dragon yeah, coming out of the sky about to kill you. He'd make the guitar sound like that, and he was absolutely probably wasted off his ass, but you would never know it. Dime, you would no. never know Dime Bag was wasted. I, you know, when I'm really wasted, I'm falling down. I'm, I'm you know, slurring. Yeah. Dude, go, was straight as an arrow. And well, that like, was his How norm. Dude, when this? you're drunk constantly on tour, like you're, you're able to just yeah. go with it. Well, so, some guys, it. it really, it really runs them, runs them through the ground, though. But yeah. it didn't, it didn't for dime, man. That dude was never yeah. slipping. No, it's I crazy. mean, I really yeah, wish it's, I would have got to see if at some point he did slip and get older and say, you know, I got to slow down. Would have been nice to see that. Oh, yeah, it would have been awesome to see an old dime bro fucking recording until he's fucking 80 years old. Yeah. Playing blues. He could fucking jam with anybody, bro. He could jam on some Stevie Ray Vaughan or some Hendrix or Clapton and, and just as much as he could fucking maybe shred. He'll, you know, like maybe he'll, he'll do a jam session with Steven Seagal. <laughs> 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 not going to happen. But, no, it's not. Yeah, it's pretty. But, you know, go uh, watch the video, everyone. Please go. Watch the video. You will not be disappointed. And maybe uh, me and Tom have been planning on watching it again together. Maybe we'll record it at some point and then save it for, you know, when we get enough of you guys listening, we'll do like a subscriber thing where we could actually sit and watch it with you guys and talk about it. Hopefully we'll be yeah. able to do that at some point. It's a good time.